Let's now factorize this number into its prime factors, 126. We're going to build a factor 3 here, and you can start it out any way you want, as long as you find a factor of 126, which you could start out, okay, it's an even number, so you can write it as 2 times something, right? 2 times 63. We go down to 3. Then 2 is prime, but 63 I can factor to 7 times 9. Now 7 is prime, so I won't continue here anymore. I have reached a leaf of the tree, but 9 I can factorize or factor to 3 times 3. And now this is all done. The leaves of my tree are 2, 7, 3 and 3 prime numbers. And now I can actually write the prime factorization. I will write 2 times 7 times 3 times 3, but not in that order. Let's start with the smallest prime and then 3. But there's 3 times 3, so I'm going to use an exponent here, 3 squared. And then lastly, the times 7. This is the prime factorization of 126. 378. Again, we could start factoring it by noticing that it is an even number, 2 times something. But there's another possibility too. If you add the digits, you get 18. And 18 is divisible by 3, it's divisible by 9, so the number itself is also divisible by both 3 and 9. That's the divisibility test for 3 and for 9, both. So, I know it is 9 times something. And 9 times what? I'll find that using long division here. I'll divide it by 9. We get 4 times 9. And then 18, so it is 2. So 9 times 42. Now I'll just erase it. Won't need it anymore. Now 9 factors into 3 times 3 again. And 42 is 6 times 7. 7 is prime, but 6 still continues to 2 times 3. Now I have all my leaves. Everything is primes. Prime, 3, 3, 2, 3. And 7. So let's write here the prime factorization equals, starting with the smallest prime we have here, which is 2. It's only once, but 3 here is now 3 times, so I write 3 cubed, 3 to the third power, and lastly we have 7. Here we have 555, five, five, 555, and we can see immediately that that number is divisible by 5. It is 5 times 111. And then 111, when you add the digits, we get 3. And 3 is divisible by 3. So the number itself is also divisible by 3. So let me divide it by 3 here using long division. Okay, 3 goes to 11 3 times. And 21, 7 times. So it is 37. This here is therefore 3 times 37. And 37 over here is prime. So I'm down here. 5, 3, and 37 are the prime factors. And we can write 555 equals 3 times 5 times 37. Next one, how would you start factoring this one? 826. I think we will notice that it is an even number, 2 times something. We have 413. And now we will check if we can divide this by 3. No, because its digit sum is 8. It's not divisible by 3. Is it divisible by 5? No. How about by 7? I cannot tell unless I divide. So we're going to test divide it by 7. Goes 5 times here. 35. Then 63 goes evenly. Yes, it does. We get 59 here. 7 times 59. And 59, maybe you know it is prime. 
over here. So once again, I'm done. 2 is prime, 7 is prime, 59 is prime. And we write the factorization here somewhere. Equals 2 times 7 times 59. Lastly, 211. I wrote here a list of primes because that's the basic idea we're doing in factoring. If you cannot immediately notice that, oh, it's divisible by something, then you just start test dividing by all primes. It's not divisible by 2, obviously. Then by 3, add the digits. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. 4 is not divisible by 3, so the number itself is not either. By 5, obviously not. It does not end in 0 or 5. By 7, okay, we need to check it out and divide. Okay, it goes evenly to 21, but then it cannot go evenly to 1, so it is not divisible by 7. And then try it with 11. Okay, 11 goes into 21 once. Subtract 10. 11 goes into 101 9 times, but I can see it's not going to be an even division, so it's not divisible by 11. Notice it is 11 times 19 point something, or would be. Then, next is 13, over here. 13 goes into 21 once. Then we get 81. It goes 6 times, but it's not going to be an even division once again. So it's not divisible by 13 either. Notice that my answer here would have been 13 times 16 point something, okay? And if I test divide it by 17, if I go 211 divided by 17, then it would be 17 times some smaller number than 17, okay? If I have 13 times 16 here, then if I had 17 here, it would be 17 times some smaller number than 17. You can also see it if you remember that 15 times 15 is 225. So I do not need to test 17. One more time. If it was divisible by 17, it would be 17 times some smaller number. But I've already checked all the smaller numbers. And you might say, well, you haven't checked 4 or 6 or 9. But I don't need to check 4 or 6 or 9. Because this cannot be divisible by 4. Since it's not divisible by 2. It cannot be divisible by 9, because it was not divisible by 3. So, my search is over. This must be prime. Okay, so 211, its prime factorization is 1 times 211. We're all done with this lesson.